In just the past century or so, human beings have invented everything from the light bulb to the computer, and we've gone from horse-drawn carriages to space travel. Yet, a recent study suggests that our species has been getting dumber for thousands of years, that the human brain power peaked even before we started writing written word. Can it be true? Let's ask Dr. Morali Dorswamy, a professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at the Duke University Institute for Brain Sciences. Good morning. Good morning. Can you explain this theory that we've actually been getting less smart over thousands of years? It's, uh, so this theory is uh, actually a theory, so it's not a study based on actual facts. Okay. Um, what it's, it's based on the theory of survival of the fittest. Right. So the theory argues that our gene pool has been getting diluted. You know, back in prehistoric times, if you were not physically fit and mentally fit, you wouldn't survive. In today's world, in a very supportive society, we're supporting even the weakest. And if you make serious intellectual errors of judgment, for example, a Wall Street executive who does something bad may actually get a bonus and may become actually in contrast, more attractive as a mate. And so that gene pool may be propagated. All right, this, the author of the theory says the average Athenian from 1000 BC would be among the smartest people in the world today. So according to theory, the human race is gonna get dumber and dumber. First of all, how do we know how smart they were back then? We don't. We have this glorified image of everyone as a Brad Pitt or a George Clooney, but they're not. <laughs> uh, that's the reality. The fact is, over the last century itself, we've been growing taller, our brain size has increased, and as IQ has jumped by about 30 points, something called as the Flynn effect, because mm -hmm. of better nutrition, better childcare, better pregnancy, cleaner environments. But I was interested to read that actually, we've learned that our IQ actually can fluctuate and that there are some points in time where we're smarter than others. Absolutely. Uh, we thought IQ was fixed and we thought sort of much of our brain development ceased in childhood by the uh -huh. age of say 18 or so, but we now know the adult's brain is very malleable. The use it or lose it theory very much applies and our IQ can fluctuate by as much as 20 points. Mm -hmm. And by using our brain and exercising our mind, we can actually change our IQ to a certain degree. Are there, diff of, are there different types of intelligence? Absolutely. There are many different types of intelligence. We have intelligence for things such as math abilities, uh, for spatial abilities, navigation, for musical creative uh, talents. Uh, we have uh, intelligence, emotional intelligence, social intelligence. So yes, absolutely, there are many different types of IQ. What can we do if we decide we don't want to have that brain drain on us? For example, today, you said, you know, sometimes we're smarter than others. Today's not my good day. <laughs> well, in, in general, are there anything we, is there anything we can do? So as a society, I think um, there are many things we can do. Obviously, eliminate poverty will have the biggest impact because nourishment, uh, childhood is when our brain develops. But even as adults, the use it or lose it theory, I think, you know, this old saying, genetics, loads the gun, lifestyle pulls the trigger. So really, the more creative things that we can do, the more we can learn, the more we can use our mind in interesting new ways, I think we can make it grow. Dr. Morali Darswamy, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it.